G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we are going to have a look at angles, okay? That is, we're going to look at the basics of them, what they are, types of angles, as well as terminology that we use when we talk about angles, as well as the properties of different angles. Okay, so let's launch into this. First off, uh, let's consider two lines here. So I'm going to put two lines up, and my two lines are here. You're going to see two lines, and I'm going to write these lines as that we name them, okay? Uh, we would call these lines AB, and we would write it like this, and we would call this second line CD, okay? And we write them by writing the points of the lines, A and B, and we put the line over the top to show that we're talking about a line. So we've got these two lines, AB and CD. Now, if you were to look at these lines, you might look at them and realise they're running in the same direction. These guys could go on forever and ever and ever, and they would never cross. Okay, so lines like this, are said to be parallel. I'll write that down. These are parallel lines. Now, if the thing about parallel lines, they're denoted first off, we put little arrows like this to denote that we're actually talking about parallel lines, but these guys will never cross, they will never form angles with each other, okay? So, we write that these guys are parallel by putting this particular symbol between them. So these guys, you go, wait a second, why don't you to, to introduce us into angles by showing us something which doesn't form angles? Well, I'll tell you why, because I'm going to show you now what happens if we move these lines a little bit and we let them cross. So what we do is we end up with a situation like this. We have our lines uh, AB and we have our second line, which is CD, but now these guys a move so they do cross. And you're going to notice that where they cross, they have this particular point here. This particular point is called an intersection. Uh, you might be thinking, okay, I've heard that word before. An intersection, like where two roads cross one another, is called an intersection. And it's a similar sort of word. Uh, and the, I'm going to label this particular point where they cross zero. So what you might notice when we have a look at this is that now that our lines are crossing, we have these points in between our lines, okay? I'll show you. We have this part here, this little gap in between the intersection line. We have the little gap in between the intersecting lines, this one and this one. We have a gap between these two intersecting lines, and we have a gap between these two intersecting lines. And these gaps we call angles, okay? So first off, how do we go about describing these angles? Now, describing angles is really, really simple. There's a couple of ways we can do it. First off, we can describe angles based upon the, or name angles, based upon the points that we're talking about. So say I was talking about this angle here, so I've got a line going here, we've got the intersection, and I've got then the line going up here. We would call this angle, we'd do this little symbol to denote we're talking about an angle, we would call it, we're starting at the A, we're going through the intersection O, and then going to the D. So we'd actually call this A, and just to show that that's where the O is from, I'll change a different colour there, and D. So this is angle A, O, D. You don't have to put those in different colours, I'm just doing that to give you a bit of a hand when you do these. Okay, so that's how we name these angles. I'll give you another example of it, say I want to name this particular angle here. I'm starting with a D, I'm going through the O, and I'm going to the B. So I'm talking about this angle here, D, O, B. I would write this as angle D, I would put the O down, okay, the intersection part, and I will put the B down. Again, you don't have to go different colours, but we've got the angle D, O, B. And that's a way that we can name angles. You would see here that we actually have four different angles that we can name. Okay, but I'm just going to do two. That's one of the ways that we can name angles. There's another way of identifying angles in a diagram, and this is this way. Occasionally what you might do with this, these angles is you might just put them down as a letter, okay? So, for instance, I will get rid of all our, our letters there, so we don't cause any confusion, and imagine, I'm just going to mark on, this is the way we mark it, we do this little circular part called an arc, okay? And I could actually just put a letter in there instead, so say A, and I could call this angle A. Or, another one I could do, is I could be talking about this angle, and I could call this one B. And I would write this down as angle B. And so on and so forth. So that's the way that we go about naming uh, angles. So that's, 
that part done, now we're just going to get on to some different types of angles that we get when we actually make angles. So let's uh, get rid of all of this. In fact, I might just leave that center line there. Okay, so get rid of that little part there. And now I'm going to just put on one more particular line, one little line here. Say my line comes down and it comes down so the lines meet like this. So the angles here that we have are exactly the same size. This is cutting straight through. Okay, this, these, this angle is the same as this angle and this angle is the same as this angle. In fact, all the angles are of the same size. Okay, so I could uh, even go and call this one, you know, A, B, C, D. And I could say here that angle, and I'll put this O here again, I could say that angle A, O, C is the same as angle A, O, D. Or I could say angle D, O, B is the same as angle A, O, D. They're all the same, okay? Lines that meet like this first off have a special name. These lines are said to be perpendicular. Okay, I'll write that one down. Perpendicular. Okay, and where these guys actually meet, you'll see that they form these square looking angles. Okay, so we call these particular square angles, these are a really special type of angle that we call right angles. Okay, right angles. All right, and quite often we show these right angles by putting this little square shape down here. Okay, this square symbol we put rather than this arc. So if you ever see this little square symbol here, it means that you're talking about a right angle. Okay, and it's one of these angles that occurs exactly like the edge of a square or the edge of a rectangle. Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of this, and I'm going to just draw this particular uh, right angle just so we can use it to describe some other types of angles. So, first off, I'll draw the up and down line, the vertical line, and I'll draw this horizontal line here. And I'm going to draw this particular shape here to show that it is a right angle. Okay, so straight away, if you see this, you know it's a right angle. But say I was to change my right angle a little bit, and I was to actually now decrease the arm of this right angle in a little bit. Okay, and I'll decrease it so instead of what we would instead of having this particular line here, it was now coming in less than that right angle. It was coming in at this angle instead. Okay, I'll go back to using this rounded shape to denote the angle. And what we do is we're basically angles like this which are less than right angles, angles which are under the right angles between zero and the right angle shape are said to be acute angles. Okay? Acute angles. So any angle, uh, this sort of shape is said to be an acute angle. This is our second type of angle. So we've got first off our right angle, and then we've got the angles that are less than right angles, that are smaller than right angles, that are pointier than right angles, I guess you could think about them, as being acute angles. Okay, so a third type of angle we're going to have a look at now is an angle where we increase the size of our arms, okay? Our arms get further and further apart, okay? And our angle gets bigger than a right angle. In fact, our angle gets like this, okay? It opens up, okay? and it's bigger than a right angle. Angles like this, okay, and I'll mark on our angle here, an angle like this is said to be obtuse. This is an obtuse angle, okay? So we have three types of angles so far, okay? And I'll draw these freehand just so you can remember them, okay? They won't be the necessarily the nastiest, the, the nicest drawings, but we'll see. We have the first one, which is like this. These ones under 90 degrees, these are said to be acute. And the way that you can remember these is they're, they're small, they're cute, yeah? We have the right angle, okay? Again, this should be nice and square, like the edge of a square. This is said to be right. And we have this obtuse angle, okay? Obtuse. And of course, when you were doing these, you would never draw anything so messy as me, but I'm trying to be a little bit quick when I draw them as well. Uh, not that that's any sort of excuse whatsoever, okay? Uh, so 
Now I'm just going to go on to a couple of final type of angles, and these are those. Okay, so we could extend the arms of an angle right out. So say I have my point there, which I'm, I'm the angles are coming from. The point, by the way, if I'm just drawing the angle by itself, and I, say I have an angle like this, and I'm just drawing the point by itself, this point here is no longer said to be an intersection. Intersections are where the lines cross. But now we're just talking about the point. These are said to be a vertex. I'll write that in. This is a vertex. Okay? This particular point there. Okay? And say I was to, from my vertex there, I was to increase the arm so it opened right out. In fact, it's going to open right out to the point where I have a straight line. And this is my angle here. Now, this particular uh, angle, you might be really, really unsurprised to hear, it's formed a straight line and is called a straight angle. A straight angle. Okay, so now we've got a fourth type of angle. The last type of angle which I'm going to talk about is where we go beyond that straight line. Okay, and what we do is, I'll just move this down a little bit, I'll move that up a bit, and we have this particular circumstance where we go right around. Okay, we've gone beyond the size of the straight angle, and we're now we're in the realm of going all the way possibly back to the original part here. This is called a reflex angle, a reflex angle, okay? A reflex. So, that's it for now. Uh, we have five different types of angles. Hopefully, this has uh, been a really good little start for when we talk about angles, okay? Uh, a couple of key terms to remember is that you have these arms here, you have, if the lines intersect, you have an intersection, you have those idea of parallel and perpendicular lines, you have the different types of angles, and also this idea of a vertex here. In the next video I'm going to be making, we're going to have a look at how to measure these angles and how to get them, you know, how we know exactly how big they are. And we're going to be talking about these and going over these obtuse and acute angles again and how many, how big each one of these are. So anyway, uh, hope you... Watch that video that's coming up then, and I thank you for watching this video. We'll see you later. Bye.